Hello tankers! Let's start with an important announcement. The Tanky and the Snow Trap minigame is coming to an end. You have until 2 a.m. UTC on February 6 to reach checkpoints and get the rewards added to your account. That means there's not much time left. And now let's get to the news. The long-awaited huge update is already in the game. The main part of it is updated icons for hull and turret augments, skins and shot effects. We're sure you will get used to the new design. The fill color identifies what status effect an augment applies. A small icon on black background shows which turret the augment is for. That's not all. We have also made some changes in the garage. At the bottom of the main screen, the supply icons have become larger. And for those who did not know, you can click on them and a screen will open where you can purchase more units. In the upper left corner, we slightly changed the way of showing gear score. All the numbers are shown in a table now. In the lower left corner, you can see the updated icons for protection modules. To help you to get used to the new design, we added some hints. Now in the turret selection screen, you can see what turret a module protects from. For example, Ocelot protects from Isida, Weasel protects from Tesla, and Panther protects from Twins. We have also made it easier to choose augments, shot effects and skins when you equip a turret by removing the need to return to the previous screen again and again. Previously it worked like this. You choose an augment, press the back button, you choose a skin, press the back button, you choose a shot effect and again press the back button. No need for extra actions now. Press the required button or a hotkey on your keyboard and you are taken straight to the screen to choose all three parameters. The same works with hulls. As for those, you can also see the official names of their overdrives now. However, it is still up to you to call Crusader's overdrive a Cryo Blaster or a Tactical Icicle. Now let's create a battle and see what changes were made to the tab screen. Let's start from the left. After a player's nickname, you see the gear score. After that, the first icon identifies the player's turret, and the next is what turret augment they're using. Under the tank, you see an icon that shows what hull the player is using and which hull augment they have equipped. And here we have the battle score points and the destroyed lost ratio. If you hover over a player's rope, you can see what protection modules they have equipped. But there's a better way to find out what modules you should use. At the bottom of the tab table, you see the sum of all protections for each turret in a battle. Yes, these are major changes to the information you see in the tab table. Now in battle, it is more important than ever to know what turrets and augments the opponents are using and whether there are any status effect immunities. Let's start this February with a fun Ultra Weekend. Themed in-game decorations are ready. Open your garage, equip the holiday paint and off we go. Complete special missions to get Ultra Containers. This time you have a chance to get the new Pacekeeper Shells Augment for Thunder in them. Critical hits with this augment let you apply the stun status effect to multiply targets within the radius of splash damage. If mission containers are not enough, check out our special offers. This time there are a couple of them available at a good price. Ammunition dump and 250 Ultra Containers. An unprecedented fight has erupted for the first place in the current challenge. In addition to the rewards that you see in the interface of the game itself, the best 1000 players by the number of stars compete every half a month for hundreds of batteries and tank coins, unique augments and the main prize, which only the best one gets. An XT modification of one of the drones, Hyperion or Crisis. To get the Golden Grail, you just need to score more stars than all other players. Try to guess how many stars the winner has. The right answer is 115,374. That's how many stars the player Brilliant earned in just one half of a month. And his challenger Taizo, who finished second, had a massive 101,694. These two fought to the bitter end. Congratulations to Brilliant for joining the secret club of Crisis XT drone owners. Bots and Trolls, that's what this episode of YouTuber Digest is about. Let's start with the first. In our previous episode of the Vlog, we told you about introducing bots to the game. Not only players, but also YouTubers decided to share their feedback with us. Watch Taspin's discussing the new feature and tell us if you agree with his opinion or not. 
So I think bots are the biggest help when trying to get new players to stick around because currently with the matchmaking meta and matchmaking in general right now, new players are not going to have fun. They're not going to be staying playing the game for a while and that's a huge problem when trying to increase the amount of players who play tanky online. If you don't agree with Thespians, follow the Detective 9992's example and be that one hopper who steals all the gold boxes. Last time, you had to guess which Scorpion would destroy a Juggernaut faster. The correct answer is C. Congratulations to the winners! And here is the next question. That's all for today. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and all social media pages and leave a comment. See you next Friday. Bye.